Hi, and welcome to the demo of my light lister tool. Uh, this tool is designed to make managing scene lights easy. Uh, it's something that can be a pain in a very complex lighting scenario. This, uh, this plane and sphere obviously is not the most complex lighting scenario you've ever seen, but it does demonstrate how the tools uh, can help you manage lights. Um, so first of all, it will list every light in your scene that's not hidden, um, and will show any hierarchy on those lights. So here we've got this this area light is in group one, so it shows group one slash area light two, and that'll go to an unlimited depth essentially. Uh, and if if for some reason you f you start uh, having your hierarchies run off the page, or you can just expand the window out and and be able to continue to read them. Um, but what this tool really does is it allows you to edit the any of the attributes of lights in your scene simultaneously. So all of these lights, I can edit their colors, uh, I can edit their intensity values, uh, and I can edit shadow color. Um, and those are the only ones that you can do across multiple light types, but uh, if you're working on multiple lights of the same type, then all of that light's attributes are available to you, or, or an individual. Uh, light, all of its lights, all of its attributes will be available. So I can change the uh, the cone angle, uh, penumbra, drop off on uh, on the spotlight. This point light, I can change its decay type, uh, its intensity, uh, shadow color, color, just like the others. Um, and another great feature that I've added is uh, a way that you can adjust um, settings on lights uh, relative to their current values. Uh, previously, that will set all of their colors absolutely to the same color. And this, um, you can actually adjust them so that you know this light I can make more red, and this light I can make more green. But if I select them both, uh, I can make them both more blue simultaneously and less green. Um, or you know I can shift their hue, adjust their saturation, adjust their values. Uh, any of those controls can be done by percentage instead of uh, by absolute value. So it's just a very fast way to tweak things uh, and get a good result pretty quickly. Um, it'll also, uh, if you're tweaking lights very rapidly, you can just drag select everything and it will only pick uh, lights when you make an adjustment. It won't try to adjust the light color value of a sphere. Um, anyway, uh, that about covers it. Um, Thank you very much for watching. Unfortunately, because I created this as a LEGO employee, uh, I'm not able to release it to the general public, but if you're an employer and you'd like to see under the hood how this works, um, please contact me. Uh, my email address is on my website, and I'd be happy to send you the uh, source code, and you can take a look. All right, thank you very much.